So this week I want to talk push-up form with you, okay? So push-up can be a very difficult exercise and especially when you're starting to get tired, we tend to compensate using our hips instead of our upper body. So I just want a real quick refresher on your push-up form. So when you're going to need to push a position, you want to make sure that your shoulders are placed over your hands, okay? So your shoulders are gonna be directly over your hands. You don't want them out here in front of you like this. You don't want them underneath your belly, right underneath your shoulders, okay? And as we talk about with our core, we want to be in a pelvic tilt position. So you're pulling your belly button into your spine and tucking your butt down. So what I don't wanna see is this position, okay? You're pulled belly button in, tuck that butt down. Now what you're gonna do, you're keeping your butt tucked, you're squeezing it, but you're gonna kinda keep it up a little bit. And the best way I can explain push-up position is like you're nose diving into the floor. Like you wanna smell the ground, make sure that you wipe down your mat, okay? So lower down, smell the ground, and push back up. Lower down, smell it, push back up. Your chest gets super close to the ground, okay? Modification would be here. So you lower down on your knees, take a little weight off of your upper body. What I do not want to see you guys doing is this, lowering your hips down instead of using your upper body. This is going to bother your lower back. If you find yourself doing that, absolutely bring your knees down, modify, nose to the ground, come on up. It's always better to work out smart, not hard, okay? So doing 50 push-ups up on your toes, so you're not modifying, but you're doing them incorrectly, it's not gonna benefit you any more than doing 50 push-ups in the modified way, okay? So different types of push-ups, I throw a lot of random different ones at you, but the basic ones, let me explain why we're doing them. So, wide grip push-up. I have you put your hands much wider than your shoulders, okay? So then they're out here, same exact position, nice and wide, lower down and up. Why do we do that? We do that to hit your anterior deltoid, which is the front of your shoulder and your pectoral muscles, a little bit more, kind of taking your triceps out of it when we put your hands wide. When we bring them together, I know these are your favorite, diamond push-ups or triangle push-ups, we're hitting your triceps a lot more. We're taking some um, of the chest out of it. So your hands are together, you're going down, bringing your sternum or your chest bone down to your triangle and back up. Bring it down to your triangle and up, okay? So bringing them closer, hitting the triceps, bringing them wider, hitting the chest and that front of your shoulder a little bit more. Slightly moving your hands in any six inch sort of way can dramatically change an exercise. So all kinds of variations definitely keep us progressing and working different muscle groups. Remember, work out smart, not hard, okay? One workout that you hurt yourself and you do things incorrectly is no better than five workouts that you modified that you did correctly and consistently, okay? So work out smart, not hard, do what you can do, keep pushing on those push-ups. See you later.